18 News, we have our Health Digest feature on KTN Weekend Prime by none other than our medical correspondent, Dr. Masi Korir, who is still with us here in studio. And Dr. Masi, I understand on Health Digest tonight, we're focusing on children with HIV. Yes, and uh, the unique thing about these children with HIV is that uh, they were born with the disease. Mm -hmm. um, that was in the late um, 90s or the early 2000s and now they are adults going about their lives, you know, trying to live like any other Kenyan. So we are bringing their stories and we start with one today from uh, Kisumu mm -hmm. and uh, we'll, be, we'll be talking to he's 19 years old so we'll be talking to him, finding out how his life is and uh, the journey towards accessing uh, medical care mm -hmm. because remember this, um, HIV is a terminal illness or it's a long, it's, a, it's an illness they live it, with it with for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. So they need their medications on a daily basis. So w w what are the challenges they go through? And then remember uh, at, at the beginning of the Trump administration, there had been queries about uh, whether PEPFAR is, uh, PEPFAR which is the, the main uh, fun, funder to HIV programs mm -hmm. in Africa. It was established by George W. Bush, the 43rd president of the U.S., mm -hmm. whether it's, it, was a, an, uh, it was causing self-entitlement among, um, among Africans. And so this was looked at as a way of uh, asking if they should withdraw this funding, which is up for renewal mm -hmm. in 2018. So we are looking at the lives of these children who are, whose lives depend on daily ARVs. Right. What if they do not have these drugs? What, what happens to them? This would and what have. impact right. would, would have to them and to also other people living with mm -hmm. HIV and So we start that series uh, today. There will be three others for this month of July. Definitely a very impactful conversation there by none other than our Dr. Masi Koris. Let's take a look at that teaser coming tonight on Health Digest. And that brings us to a close on News Center as well. My name is Michelle Ngele. I'll see you again at 11 a.m. I said pneumonia as a cure. So why am I taking them every day? He was seven years then getting to learn of a shocking fact from his mother. He was born HIV positive at a time when disclosure and stigma around HIV and AIDS is the norm rather than the exception. I regretted her being my mom and uh, I went on a drug holiday for almost three months. The life expectancy has gone down and it is averagely up to 50 years, of which earlier on it used to be at 70 years. Now if they will really pull out and there will be no assistance like for getting the ARVs, I'm foreseeing a very bad situation.